SPF sprays. Okay, so I see a lot of uh, makeup setting spray. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, I'm picking her up right now. Okay. Say hello. Say hello to the baby. This is Callie, the baby. She has two names. Baby. And Callie. And the other two are trying to jump up here. Say hi. Say hi. No, no, you're the baby. You're the baby. She had a baby. She had a baby of the family. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's such a good little girl. I know. I'm just picking up the baby because she's the lighter. Yeah, that's my girl. They're all my girls. Oh, oh, just want to squeeze her. Hey guys, welcome to Lip Shoes and Issues. I'm Jeannie. Thanks for tuning in and to my subscribers, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Um, today I'm going to go over um, makeup setting sprays with an SPF. I want to go over them. You got the low end, you got the high end, you got the middle end. Here's the thing. I like a lot of my makeup doesn't have SPF. And there's makeup that I want to wear that doesn't have SPF. Okay? I don't always want to put on an SPF in the morning under my makeup. Because it has they all have a consistency that I don't like. I mean, I'm on the lookout for the best moisturizer with SPF, okay? And the Super Goop, now that's a nice moisturizer with an SPF. It was good. I used the whole jar. It had a very watery consistency to it. Whereas the moisturizer that I'm using right now from Payotte Hydra 24 Cream Glacy, Glacy, Glaze, Glaze, I don't know. But anyway, I love this stuff. It's very luxurious, okay? Very luxurious. I like Charlotte Tilb Tilbury's Magic Cream. Very nice. I like A Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. None of them have, have SPF. Actually, I'm a little surprised that the A Cosmetics doesn't. I don't think that one has SPF neither. But those are creams that I like. They make my skin feel good, you know? So when you're stuck on a moisturizer that makes your skin feel good, you kind of want to use that every day. You don't want to switch up, switch off, switch here, switch there. So for me to have to switch a moisturizer under my makeup, my makeup just doesn't seem to lay right. It doesn't lay the same. There's something not, it's different, you know? Um, I did like the Super Goop, but it's still, SPF sits on your skin. And it's light. It's very light and it you know, whether it leaves a white cast or it doesn't, it leaves some sort of cast on your skin that's just, uh, I don't know, I, I can't explain it, but I'm sure you know what I mean, you know? I mean, yeah, we're an SPF, SPF is important, we all know that. I'm just, listen, I'm out of the, I'm going out of the box here and I'm just, I'm being real and being honest. I'm not saying don't wear SPF, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, I don't like to wear an SPF under my makeup, okay? Now, I have found primers that have, have SPF in it, and I do like them. Uh, Bobbi Brown has a primer, a, a, um, a glowy primer with an SPF. I like that, but I don't always wanna wear a glowy primer under my makeup. I think it's Armani that has a primer with an SPF. I don't think it's glowy. Is it Armani? I don't know, it's one of them. But I don't like the I'll use it sometimes, but I don't want to use it every day, okay? There's just a big difference when you put an SPF on under your makeup as much as we want to act like that we don't, there is. So I don't always want to, okay, I just don't always want to use that. I like the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen Sheer Tint. I do like the face tints with the SPF. I like them. I like this one. It's really pretty on. It's very matte. I like it. I'm good with it. But do I want to use it every day? No. I have all kinds of different stuff. 
I do have some, I have the CC it Cosmetics with SPF 50. I like it, great, heavy, full coverage. Do I wanna use it every day though? No, I wanna use my other stuff. Sometimes I wanna wear my sheer Chanel, okay? Sometimes I wanna wear nothing. Sometimes I just wanna wear a moisturizer. So, lo and behold, Love. makeup setting sprays with SPF. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming up with this. So this is my answer to my issue when I want to wear, when I don't want to wear an SPF lotion or a foundation or whatever, what have you. So I went and bought a few of the makeup setting sprays with the SPF because I wanted to try each one and tell you which one is good and which one is not or which one works, which one doesn't. Now, I, I found that they all work, but they do, there's a difference, okay? So what I bought, I bought the Ulta Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen, okay? This was, I think, $13, 10, 10, 11, $10, 11, this one. 50 sun protection, Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen, rose water setting spray with a matte finish. That's the Ulta Beauty. Pacifica SPF 45, set and protect, matte sheer setting mist, vitamin C and C minerals, plus SPF protection, broad spectrum, UVA, UVB, 100% vegan, cruelty free. Pacifica, okay? This was maybe in the $20 range, mid 20 and then there's the Kula SPF 30, 70% plus organic makeup setting spray featuring peony leaf, juniper berry, and phoenix leaf stem cells plus hyaluronic acid with the 30. So farm to face. This is the higher end. I think this was $46 higher end. Okay. So here's the difference. We're going to go, I'm going to start with the Ulta. Now, here's the thing, you guys. The first ingredient to each one of these is alcohol. That's the first ingredient. Doesn't mean it's the first thing they poured in. It means that that's what this, all of these are mostly consisted of alcohol. So when I saw that, I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to spray alcohol on my face. All right, okay. Well, it's not like alcohol is bad for your skin because it's not, but it is drying. It is drying on your skin. So I just have to use a heavy moisturizer. Now, so I'm going to start with the Ulta 50. Ulta Beauty 50. I use this. I sprayed it on. Immediately, I can felt my skin tighten up. It felt drying. It smells exactly like sunscreen. I mean, it just straight up smells like sunscreen. Like you're you're spraying, you are spraying sunscreen on your face with this, okay? Bottom line. So SPF 50, great. Drying, okay, so here's the thing. My skin felt very taut, very, like it, uh, Okay, like, okay, my skin is feeling tight. About a few minutes later, it still felt tight, but my makeup looked airbrushed. Like, it was very strange. Like, all of a sudden, it was like my makeup looked like, whoa, wait a minute. God, it looks good. It feels uncomfortable, but it looks good. Like, it was kind of, it was matte and airbrushed, not bad, not bad. So, you know, if you wanna spend, if you don't wanna to spend too much, okay, all right. I would just, uh, with this, use a heavy moisturizer under my makeup because it is a makeup setting spray. Unless you don't wanna wear makeup, you just wanna use this as a sunscreen. But I'd use a heavy moisturizer and um, then I would use this and that may offset the, the drying the uncomfortableness of the, you know, your skin being taut, but maybe it's tightening your skin because my skin looked really good. I mean, it did. Like my makeup looked, whoop, 
Okay. What's the payoff? That's the payoff. So anyway, that's all to beauty. That's my review on that. Next, Pacifica. 45, SPF 45. It says matte sheer setting mist. However, this didn't feel so matte to me. Number one, it was very um, hydrating. When I sprayed this on, there was no tightness. It didn't, I, I didn't smell sunscreen. I didn't smell it at all, okay? Um, and by the way, it's a spray. This is, these are watery sprays. These aren't like lotion sprays, okay? They're watery sprays. I spritzed it, spritzed it a few times on my face um, and it was dewy. It felt dewy. It felt moisturized. And as time went on, you, I could tell it was it, it did become matte, but it didn't come become taut matte and it didn't become um, an airbrushed matte. It became a little more of a moisturizing, dewy matte. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it just my skin wasn't tight. My skin felt good and it smelled better. This just it smelled better. It didn't have that strong sunscreen smell to it. Um, so I did like this one. I liked it a lot. This is a bit of dewiness with it. A little bit of, hmm, dewy, it's a bit dewy. Feels really good. But it does also feel like my makeup might melt in the humid weather. I don't know. I'm not saying that that happened because it does say it's matte, matte sheer setting mist. Um, I'd have to put this to the test on a humid day. But other than that, this is the one I, I would reach, I would reach for this. I would definitely reach for this, okay? and it's an SPF 45. Now here's the thing. I don't know if you know anything about sunscreen when you put it on, okay? Because some people just squirt and put it on. However, you're supposed to put a whole tablespoon of sunscreen in your hand and rub it in and rub a whole tablespoon of sunscreen on your face in order to get the protection that you're supposed to get. I don't know if you know that. That's the recommendation to get the full um, effect of the sunscreen. Now, you're not going to do that with this, obviously, because it's a spray. However, the question is, is how much SPF is in that lotion compared to your spray? I mean, is there more of the SPF protect protector in the sprays than there is in the lotion? Because maybe they mix lotions with so many other things that that's why they tell you to use a whole tablespoon in order to use the pure SPF ingredient in a lotion, whereas this might be different. This may have more of the SPF protector in it. I'd have to look at the ingredients and do some research. But I do know this, when I use a spray when I'm out on the boat, it protects me. So I'm just gonna kind of look at this like the same. If I burn with any of these, which I haven't yet, I'll let you know. I would definitely let you know because that's not good. Now comes the cool at SPF 30. And an SPF 30 on my face is enough for me also. It is, I never burn with the 30, so I'm not, I'm not squawking at that. I haven't tried this yet though, so I'm gonna try this with you guys and I'm just gonna kind of go over exactly how I'm feeling while I'm spraying it. So this is the one featuring peony leaf, juniper berry, and phoenix leaf stem cells with hyaluronic acid, which, which hyaluronic acid is very hydrating on the skin. So let's, um, this is a bit fancy. This is fancy and it is Oh my God, it's broken. You gotta be kidding me. Now oh, wait a minute, there's something in the bottle? Come on now. Figures, right? I think it's, this is broken. Oh, there's a little thing in it that helps mix it. I don't know. All right. Okay, so there's a thingy in it. So I guess it's... All right, so that's what it is. So when you shake it, you know when they put those little things in it, you can shake it and... I got this at Ulta and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not really trusting Ulta lately. But anyway, I'm going to try this. So it shakes. It's got a shaker in it. I had no idea. I'm thinking there was glass in it. If I spray this once, this should not spray, okay? 
the, I, I just bought this. If I spray this once, because I'm hearing that people are using stuff and putting it back, and this is during COVID, okay? If I pump this once and spray comes out, we have a problem, okay? Okay, it didn't, thank God. All right, it didn't. All right, okay. Nice, fine mist, very nice. All right, so here we go. Hey, I just don't know about anything anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, it smells like sunscreen mixed with a nice fragrance. Okay, it's doable. I'm going to spray a little bit more. Those are my problem areas. It's kind of overpowering. Okay. That smell was a little overpowering. Powering? I have a problem saying that word. The smell's not bad, but it was pretty strong at first. Definitely smelled sunscreen mixed with maybe another scent of some sort. And since everything's organic, I don't know if it's just natural. It, it contains plant stem cells. Makeup meltdown and UV exposure have met their match. A simple spritz of our weightless matte. It's a matte finish. It also has cucumber and aloe. It's a little drumming. It definitely doesn't feel as dewy and moisturizing as the Pacifica. Um, it's not as drying as the Ulta. Just giving you a step-by-step -step here. but it's a little, my skin's a little taut. It's not unbearable. I like the fact that it's organic. The skin looks pretty good. It looks matte, but um, kind of a, uh, It, it, it has a little, it has an airbrushed look to it, but better than the Ulta. Ulta just sucked my face dry. That's how it felt. But the look was nice. Now I feel like I'm getting the look, the airbrushed look, more of a pleasant smell, even though it was very strong at first, but that's probably because of the alcohol. Um, I do like the little thing inside of it because you know you're getting a good amount of every ingredient that's in there. Um little taut but not too bad definitely could withstand humid weather that's what i think but it's pretty it looks good i think it looks good definitely it looks airbrushed it looks like the makeup will stay that's what i think now i'll give this the wear test giving the wear test to these two they both did they did really well with the makeup they did really well with the with uh, keeping my makeup fresh, looking good, not having to reapply, the Ulta and the Pacifica did a good job. It did. Cola is going to do a good job. I already know it is. I do like the ingredients that's in the cola, and I do like the fact that it's organic. And I think it looks good. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a review of all three. If I were to pick a favorite right now. My favorite would be Pacifica because I do like the dewiness. The only thing is if I'm out on the boat and I'm sweating, I would go with the Kula because it's organic. Only because the Ulta just, I, like there was a part of me felt like I was spraying straight on alcohol on my face with the scent of sunscreen. That's, that, that is how I felt. However, it did the job. My, the, my face looked good and like I said before, if you wanted to get the Ulta, just use a real heavy moisturizer underneath. 
and I think you'll do well with it. So anyway, giving you guys an honest review. And um, I do like the way the cola looks. I think it looks nice. It's looking, it does, you know, my face looks matte, but it's, uh, it's not feeling so bad. Like, it's not feeling as bad as the Ulta did, but it is a little taut, a little dry. But my face isn't cracking or anything. But anyway, so you know, I think this is, we're just seeing a lot more of these. And I don't know. To me, it was the answer to all my problems when it came to not wanting to wear a moisturizer. So it's not like I'm going to wear this every single day because I will use an SPF with a moisturizer or the foundation here and there also. So it's just on those days when I don't want to. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. And please comment below if you like anything. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I will talk to you soon. Love you. Done watching? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I know you're bored. It eats away what's there, and it's been eaten away. So it's I'm trying to cover it up with makeup, but I don't know if I did a very good job. But just want to let you know so you're not grossed out. Um, but we're done. We're done with this video. We're done. The like button. Four, three, two.